your command. You are watching the Piney Prepper YouTube channel. This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today I want to talk about these Blink security cameras that we got. I didn't know it at the time, but when I first bought them, uh, it was like an emergency. We had an intruder or a stalker, so we had to get them. And I ended up getting four, and then another four without the docking state. It ended up costing me over $1,000 for these cameras. They worked great. Um, in an instant, if somebody was at my front door, I, I got a, a ding on my phone. We could be at a restaurant or out somewhere. And you could look at real time. You could see somebody on your front porch, and it's got a talk back function. You can talk like, who is it? What do you want? Well, I didn't know it, but after like 60 or 90 days or whatever it was, uh, the storage was, you, you couldn't get your clips, you couldn't delete them, it, it was such a, a cluster of crap. So we looked, and here I didn't know it, but you had a free cloud subscription for like 60 or 90 days or something. After that, you had to put it on a USB drive, which we did but it was inconvenient, the times were wrong. Somebody would pull in the driveway and you wouldn't get the alert for 10 or 15 minutes later and the time would be like from four hours ago. It, 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 none of it made any sense, so we ended up paying for the yearly subscription for the cameras and... But regardless, it, it's still not working like it, like it used to when it was free when I first bought them. I'll get an alert now saying somebody is on the driveway, but by the time you click on it and it circles and circles and circles, the people are already gone. The UPS truck is already gone. So there's a big delay. It's not as good as they used to. And, you know, I have these all over the house. I have eight of them. I got them on the corners of the house. I got them hidden in the driveway. One hidden in a tree facing the house one by the, the pig's house facing the side of the house, another one on the back road, so you don't even know they're there. And one of the things on these, when you walk by them, there was a blue light that would come on. So even if, if it was night and you walked by, you wouldn't see the camera, but that blue light would get your attention so you knew they were there. But you could disable that, so that was fine. But last night the power was out. We lost power for a couple hours. There was no moon out at all. It was pitch black out here. We got the generator set up to run the refrigerator. I'm getting bit by gnats. Uh, we got the generator running. We got an air conditioner for the chinchillas. Got the uh, refrigerator plugged in. And you can't hear because the generator is running out here. But we kept seeing these red flashes everywhere, everywhere. I'm like, what the hell is that? Well, these, I can't find a way to turn this off, but these cameras, I don't know if, well, I'll, I'll zoom in or show it to you. Can you see that blinking? They have a red blinking light, and I can't disable it. So, in pitch black, no moon, you don't even, you couldn't see my house, you couldn't see the driveway, but if you're walking down the road, you see all these red flashing lights, eight of them. So all the ones I have hidden, you can see them. So that's a good opportunity for burglars or robbers or whoever, kids, to go on your property, find your cameras. These pop right off the mounts, or they can spray paint them or break into them. But the main thing is, they know you got a generator running. They know you don't have power. You don't have surveillance. So that's a good time for an attack. Or a robbery or assault or whatever. So that I don't like. You know, I got cameras hidden. And I mean, at night, it's something for you to think about. When you get these, I mean, it's got that sensor. I don't, if you put you can't really put tape on it because then it's not going to work. So that's a problem. So when you're most vulnerable, that alerts people. They let you know that, well, your phone's down, your internet's out, or you don't have power, and you probably can't call for help. 
So this is Pony Prepper Bill on the Amazon Blink cameras. And I mean during the day you can see the blinking, but it's not at night it lit up. It was like doing, 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 doing. See that? So this is Pony Prepper Bill, and if you have any ideas on how to turn that off, I haven't been able to, but that is not good for a SHTF situation. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.